went to see Deadpool and we left um, probably about 25 30 minutes into it um, it is disgusting it is so against the Lord they are blaspheming our creator and you should not see it do not spend money on it it is not worth anything the, the fact that it has beat all of the MCU movies out um, blows me away and it blows me away that people were bringing their children into it um, but we left that theater we left 25 minutes in and I didn't ask for my money back I truly was so guilty that I even allowed us to stay in as long as we did because it started off bad but no joke they used Jesus's name in it in a disgusting way in that 30 minutes like 10 times at least um, so if you're a Christian do not see it no she didn't have to reference Christianity talking about if you're a Christian don't go see it you can be a Satanist and you can go see this shit you can be Luciferian you can be Jewish, Muslim spiritual, it don't matter honestly because she's not wrong though they did mock Jesus a lot in the movie but the thing is the mockery of Jesus was them saying that it's a consciousness, it's a title meaning that if you are offended by this movie, you're just soft, for one. But to an extent, though, because there were certain things to be mad about. But for them referencing Jesus or, like, calling it blasphemy, that is blasphemy to an extent. Because they're talking about themselves. Because Jesus is a title placed upon your subconscious mind. Jesus does not exist to Jesus, first of all. And if you went and talked to Jesus and asked him, what is your name? Like, what do you go by? What would you call yourself? Jesus would never call himself anything because for one, if you are enlightened, if you are an infinite creator, why are you even talking about yourself? Why are you even talking to begin with if you're all knowing? Meaning that if you knew, for one, if you're all knowing, you knew this person was going to ask you that question. So you wouldn't even be waiting for them to give you the question to begin with because you would have answered it before the question was even a thought. But <laughs> make it make sense on top of that is consciousness meaning that it's a frequency you have to actually be at the frequency on your crown chakra or in your crown chakra to even comprehend what jesus is but throughout this movie though it is straight blasphemy not only that it was the emasculation of jesus as well because by them by deadpool saying that he was a messiah or the marvel jesus or whatever the case may be he was basically saying that he was going to be the savior of time and continuum of time because he had to fight and he had to he had to make sure that he was able to get Wolverine from you know disintegrating his timeline as well. Deadpool's timeline was going to disintegrate as well, but he did the best he could to figure out what the anchor being was, and the anchor being is still the Messiah, it's still the sacrificial lamb, and they both were sacrificial lambs which is not necessarily blasphemy because for one, we are all sacrificial lambs. So we are all Jesus to Satan and Lucifer and Satan and Lucifer are nothing but the, I guess you can say celestial parents of you and I, because for one, you got to honor your mother and father. And if you were born from your mother and father, for one, your mom is Satan and she has a Lucifer enlightenment and she decides to marry Lucifer because Lucifer is still following who God, or you could say almighty God, and because of that, Jesus would be the offspring of all three of these different enlightenments. So like I said before, when you have four hearts, you do have four hearts through these different terminologies because these are titles placed upon your subconscious mind because consciously you are all these different beings in your mind. But you, you wouldn't have to say that. You didn't have to voice it because it's already a thought within your mind. But you have to have the heart to understand how authentic you are in contradictions because it's all a double-edged sword, meaning that God is saying, so in this movie, yeah, they are basically mocking society and they are basically emasculating men. And if you did bring your kids into this movie, you are going to see a bunch of shit that you should not see. But that's your fault for allowing your kids to think that this Deadpool movie wasn't going to be explicit. Like, it's not a regular movie that you should be seeing anyways. And if you get offended, that's your fault because you should know better and these movies can do what they want because who's gonna stop them you still came and paid and you didn't get your money back so you wasted your time and your energy watching something that literally served you no good but 
this was a mockery upon consciousness because they were basically telling you that if they wanted to, they can get mutants to rip time and create it in their own liking. But they're going to sacrifice a mutant to save their dimension. So these difference, like the white man, for example, he was out here getting mutants to save his own ass because he couldn't do it himself. And Wolverine, if you've seen the movie, I'm going to spoil it too. Towards the ending, Deadpool and Wolverine were... They were basically holding hands. They were basically, and then two was crazy. Wolverine's shirt ripped off, and Deadpool was looking, and like he accepted his body, like he was mesmerizing his body, like it was art. And they were touching antimatter and matter combined together to stop Charles Xavier's sister from destroying the past, present, and future because she wants to conquer it and play God. Meaning that they literally let a European or a Caucasoid with no hair play God in this movie and. Nobody was going to say shit because people aren't even that enlightened to begin with to understand how they're able to play the title of God. And they referenced that numerous times into the movie as well. So she's not wrong for saying that. But once again, when it came down to Jesus, Jesus does not even exist, first of all. But I'm lying to you by saying that because you are his enlightenment or her enlightenment. These are titles for your frequency and divinity, meaning that divinity is energy. These are energetic beings that think they are real and they are playing a game through a masquerading as actors acting in a movie. These are nothing but scripts that they are reading to pay their bills these are spells that are being spell casted so if you are offended by a bunch of spells you are ignorant to your subconscious thoughts because this movie didn't even exist in the first place this movie is a reflection of what you do not know about yourself so if you do not know yourself then you are not able to comprehend this movie which is why they're going to make another movie and the more and the more society keeps on evolving, they're going to keep on showing emasculating scenes and scenarios in these movies. Why? Because they're going to want to evolve human evolution into accepting themselves as loving the same gender and the same sex, telling you it's okay to get your dick and your balls touched. Not only that, in the beginning of the movie, there was a scene where, when Deadpool literally had Wolverine's the, the shit for his hands or his knuckles, whatever the case may be. When he had the shit popping out of his hands he literally had a scene to where one of them got stuck in what he got one of the claws stuck in a, the what the cop's dick and then another cop got stuck in his dick as well like he put the other hand it was his left hand his right hand they were both touching the cop's dick and then he couldn't get the claws out so he was literally going back and forth trying to get it out of their dicks literally one of them was bent over in front of deadpool the other was standing straight up you can't make this shit up. If you watch the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But it's just that scene right there is just in the case. And not only that, when Deadpool was getting his suit to go and find Wolverine, the guy who made the suit for him, touched his ass and his balls five times in the fucking scene. They showed it to you. He was zipping up his whole suit, smacking his ass, grabbing his nuts. I'm looking like, nigga. What the fuck is going on? But in some societies or in some communities, they accept that because that's their love language. That's a physical love language. So we cannot. So us sitting here judging them does not. It does nothing for us. And it helps us understand that we are still ignorant to what love is in different communities or in different satanic agendas or luciferian ways of thinking these people are not even real people first of all and they have sold their soul to get into the biggest movie of all time at this point and because marvel is literally a shitstorm, they are showing you that once you are open-minded and you become open-minded into what these different ways are they're showing you their ways into the industry and they want your kids to come into the industry to get emasculated to to help pay your bills <laughs> Mr. Wilson, you appear to have soiled yourself while unconscious. I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? Why am I here? Walk with me. Wait. You are special. This is your chance to be a hero among heroes. I smell what you're stepping in, Sensei. Your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. I'm the Messiah. I am Marvel Jesus. Yeah.
And that's the thing. There's always two sides to a coin. So as you can see, <laughs> I can't make it up. And so when he said he's Marvel Jesus and all that, you know, we already elaborated on that. But as you can see, when he was getting the suit, getting violated. And it's just like this picture right here. Why are you laid up? Why is your... <laughs> it says why and the thing is too this is exactly what these gatekeepers will want you know and these actors will do whatever they can to pay their bills or to get that attention or to get that next movie box opportunity to feed their family because this is what they sold their morality for their integrity and that's why i can see why the lady was talking about this whole movie was blasphemy she didn't even finish it whatever but there's always two sides to a coin. Now, of course, if you want to, from an ignorant standpoint, from an unconscious standpoint, the movie was great because it was funny. And just as a kid, you know, relating to seeing the cartoons of Deadpool and Wolverine, just growing up on this shit, it healed my inner child. It was able to not only help me spiritually grow and help me awaken some way more things, but, you know, it was just seeing, just seeing them, just, you know, all the characters like Gambit, Blade was in it, Elektra, the Hulk was in it, Thor, it's just so many references in there. It was just deep. That shit was deep as fuck. Pause. But you know what I mean? So no pause. But it's like, as that happened, it's just an indication to where if you just put your consciousness to the side and you stay ignorant, you're blind to what's really being portrayed in this movie. But of course, that's why I said it's a great conscious projection because it's like, damn, besides all the other subconscious shit, consciously, you should have spiritually evolved or grown and your third eye should have opened or been awakened in this movie because they were showing and projecting so much spirituality and then not only that but satanism luciferianism just you know sacrificing a lot of the, the true blasphemy in there was killing there was a bunch of blood in there and somebody told me too like what was the plot for the movie honestly if you thought it was a plot that's a problem the plot was is there's going to be a plot for the future movies coming out. So this movie wasn't really getting anywhere. Like It was just one of those things like an introduction or a, pre a prelude to what Marvel has in the works. Meaning that the future movies that will come out will be better than this movie that we all just seen. And yeah, people just have to you know wait and take their time. That's why it's going to be two more years till they actually drop these different projects because they're gonna go all out and they're going to show messages about multiverses and different astral realms, cosmic realms. So people have to pay attention and evolve their consciousness to actually see what they're going to portray. On top of that, they are observing and they had a lot of lingo from Twitter as well. But they're going to show. They're going to have a bunch of lingo from my like Twitter and social media because they did have. And the thing is, too, even in this movie, when uh, Deadpool and Wolverine were fighting the other Deadpools, they had a kid, uh, literally had a kid Deadpool in the movie say, get Wolverine's dick out your mouth. I said, what? There's a kid. And the thing is, if you watch the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But when the kid said that, I'm like, they paid you to say that shit. And it's like, if this kid's saying that, then the kid is going to actually think that's okay to say. Meaning that parents are going to have to watch out. If, if their kids are watching this movie or they ever go see it, you have to watch your children because dick being referenced a lot, not only that, but just it being touched on, it being shown like that was the main focus, kicking niggas in the nuts, hitting them in the nuts, stabbing them in the nuts, touching their nuts, touching their ass. I mean, bro. Just the whole, yes, you know, blood, just you know, people getting killed, heads getting chopped off, people getting stabbed, people getting shot in the head, people just getting killed left and right. That's the true blasphemy right there because they're basically promoting killing. Thou shall not kill, but you're showing killing in the movie. <laughs> it, it's, it's just amazing. It, it's just outstanding. But I love you so much, man. Have a great day, God and Goddess.